Melky, funny old night. There was plenty on the line heading in with the chance to go top of the table. Was that spoken about at all? Yeah, it was the elephant in the room that was addressed before the game. Um, obviously, the seas part a little bit for us with some results over the weekend, so um, we just put it out in the open and, and dealt with that before the game, not to, uh, to dwell on it too much. We're stopping. Run. Lightning. There's going to oh, be some wow. lightning, so we've got to stop. Obviously disrupted midway through the last quarter. What was this? What was spoken about in the rooms at that point? Well, it was a, yeah, strange, uh, strange circumstances. We uh, we just came in and treated it as a half-time um, break for us. We just wanted to reset, uh, relax a little bit, and then by the time we were ready to head out, we tried to just warm up as much as we could and, and prepare for the last 16 minutes. Which um, once we got out there, felt like that it went forever probably summarised the whole nine days pretty nicely tonight. It's been a really different one. How have you found the whole week, obviously, on the tarmac last week and then uh, in a hub for a week? Yeah, uh, the world's just throwing funny things at us at the minute. Um, in, during this pandemic, we had a, obviously that, that week last week uh, on the Saturday where we flew around Australia for no reason. And then um, we come over here and, and it's been quite a long week preparing for this game. Usually it's a, a one or two night thing but um, it was strange trying to fill in the time early on in the week um, but good to connect with our teammates and get around each other not something that we do too often at home or, or I don't anyway with, with a young family so that was fun but um, yeah the last two days we really narrowed our focus and, and uh, honed in on the Eagles. You've obviously come back into the side this week initially named as a midfielder and then moved forward was that something you had to adjust with? Yeah um, I've been mid most of this year um, and uh, with Tommy going out forward and um, it's a role that I've played a lot of a lot of games in um, over my career. So um, yeah, it was it was just a bonus to be in. I was wrapped to be in. It's been a long uh, long wait and um, a few challenges along the way, but it was exciting to be back in. Spent some time alongside Jeremy McGovern in the second half. How'd you find that role? Yeah, he's a great player. Um, it's a it's a role I've played before on some some key defenders, and I've, I've played on him once or twice as well. But um, so something not unfamiliar to me. But uh, yeah, very challenging and. Uh, even when uh, things might not be going their way, he still backs himself in, in the air and um, to win the football. So you're always in the in the contest and in the game when you when you're trying to uh, play on someone like that. And um, it was just good to uh, get the win. Really, in the end, it was a taxing night after the after that pause in the game. It felt like it it went for a long time. So good to get the win. West Coast are always a tough side to play away. It's another challenge against the top eight team that we've been able to deal with. Is there just a really strong belief now heading into finals, the top four spot guaranteed that we can do something special in September? Yeah, the belief is there. Um, it's our belief in our brand and the, and the way that we play and, and our values that we've um, built over the year. Uh, and look, it's just been something that we've been consistent at for the whole year pretty much, um, bar a couple of games. So. We're heading to that pointy end of the season and our form is, is going in the right tra trajectory um, and we just want to maintain that uh, before we hit the finals uh, in a couple of weeks time.